Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank each and every one of y'all for clicking on the video. It is a nice, beautiful day today. I bet you it's, uh, I didn't even look at the temperature. It's real windy um, and it's, I know it's less than 100 degrees. So uh, the next couple days is supposed to be that way. Um, we got a project that we're going to be starting here after wall and uh, it's going to take a little while to complete it, but we're super excited about it. And also we want to thank Patio Way for sponsoring today's video. Well, what we're doing first is um, we're going to go down here and um, I'm going to actually turn the chocolates and the guineas out. They've probably been together for about a month now. And uh, we're getting ready to start clean, like I said, clean all the waters and I really wished I had a place and we might end up moving their pen over there, but I don't want to move it right now because I'm going to wait and see if they will actually go back in their pen. Um, while we got this open, we're going to put some roost inside there as well. So we'll see how it goes. Hey right, guys, y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all don't forget where you come from now. All right. Don't forget where you come from. There y'all go. Uh-oh, I forgot, a, there, cowboy and them coming. Now, keep in mind, this is the first time that um, these birds have been released free. Now, we got six chocolates, and then we have 10 guineas, three, six, nine, 10. What's wrong, baby? Who are you looking for? There's one of the goats that's going to be going to a, so we, we lock, we leave the waters outside so they don't get so muddy inside, but then the bigger goats come over here and actually uh, knock them over. Let's see how these guys do. So as you see, they're eating the, the greens and the grass and you know, from time to time we will throw greens in there. But once we get everything moved up there on the hill, um, these new pins, I'm gonna try to find a way that I can actually put wheels on them and actually move them around so they can have green all the time. And uh, we may even try to figure out a way that we can actually let the chickens roam free. Um, so, if we can get our stock up good enough and we let them run, run free, but we gotta keep them separated, which ain't no problem. We can actually cut their wings, feathers, and um, keep them from flying out and stuff like that. But we're gonna let them run around and uh, that's what I was afraid of, them roosters. That's what I was afraid of, but you know, they got to, they gotta get used to it. Well, I will let them run free. I'm gonna go check on Steph and see if she's ready to go get started on our project up there. And I'm sure we'll throw some extra stuff in. Like I say, this is gonna take a little while to complete, but um, we wanna thank y'all so much for following us along on this journey and just being a part of our, our family. And um, we are greatly appreciate it. And thank y'all so much for all y'all's love and support and liking and sharing the videos. We're almost to 50,000. I mean, we're just about to 50,000 and I cannot wait. I've been waiting a long time. That's that 50,000 is one of my goals. And then my next big goal is the 100,000 to get the YouTube plaque. So anyways, we're going to go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and get her and we'll go ahead and get started that project. All right guys, so we finally made it up here. Uh, we've been trying to gather all of our stuff ever since we left down the animals, or left down there with the guineas and chickens. Um, hey, this is the first time we've let the uh, guineas and uh, chocolates out. So hopefully they do well. I think they, the guineas has been with the chocolates for a good while. So um, hopefully tonight they'll go right back in their pen. If not, I guess we'll have to try to catch them. Um, like I said earlier, this video is sponsored by Patio Well. Um, they sent us a 10 by 10 building and um, we're gonna go ahead and put it up today. We're gonna start, so it might be a two day video. Um, there's a lot of pieces involved and um, as y'all see, there is another building 
over here on this other side. That is uh, a building that Steph's going to end up doing on her channel. Um, we was going to do that before, but we did not realize that we was going to have to buy materials to get it set up because basically if we just set the building up and we leave it right here on the dirt, it's not going to last very long. So we went today and uh, purchased some lumber, but we're going to go ahead and put this um, mine up first. It's a 10 by 10 and um, we're going to kind of uh, show you bits and pieces of it. It's going to be a kind of a time lapse. So um, hopefully you enjoy it. But one thing I've got to quit with, which by the time y'all already see this, it will already be up, but for future reference for the second one, what I'm going to do here is obviously this ground is at a slant. And if I, if I just build a platform here, this is going to be at a slant as well. So my thinking is, is I'm going to kind of take down some of this dirt so it is level and I want the front door to be level with it as well. So I can just pull in the uh, side by side, not side by side, the, um, I don't know, side by side might fit in it. I, I don't know for sure, but for sure the lawnmower. And um, I, I, I'm thinking, if I'm thinking right, this is, it, it'll all work out well. So um, anyways, we're gonna jump on a tractor and try to get this level real quick. Look at there. That's level, but we'll probably have to get some bricks. Back there? Yeah. Filling your old boot. <laughs> yeah, getting her all filled up, getting ready to go. So my whole ideal of doing that is obviously bringing it down because I want it to where I can just drive in without having to happen to like uh, you know have to drive up on the platform I'm going to try to make it level we'll see what happens Quite a bit, huh? Alright guys, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna run down there and get some of those flat blocks. That way we're not leaving uh, the wood on the ground. The flat box to just make it to where like dogs and stuff can't get underneath it. So we'll do that and that should work. <coughs> So 
So what we're doing here, we're going to put every, about every 12 inches, we're going to put a, a two by four. Okay guys, I'm not going to make you watch all of this. Uh, me and Steph's going through here, uh, building the deck here. Once again, I want to thank Patio Well for sponsoring today's video. Um, this shed that we're going to be building is a 10 by 10 um, but some of their main products include the metal shed and the deck boxes for outdoor storages. The deck boxes for the outdoor storages is an 82 gallon deck box. Um, they also have a 6x4 metal shed, a 10x8 metal shed, and a 10x10 metal shed. That's what we're going to be putting up today. I'm going to leave exclusive coupon code in the description box and I'm going to pin it in the comment box. So if you want to check any of these products out, please click on that and go check it out. Hope you enjoyed the rest of the video. Oh. Hold on. Sturdy. Two and a quarter. Twenty. Yeah, I like to mess stuff. If I'd have caught it long ways, we wouldn't have had enough wood. I think that right there is going to be best. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I uh, love when a plan, plan comes, comes together. together. I knew what he was going to say. That is it. Is this our dancing stage? That's a dancing stage. So, um, what we'll probably do is we're probably going to uh, go ahead and call it quits on this today because we got tons of other stuff to do. Um, and then in the morning, we'll get up and we will actually um, get out here and get started early. And then when it starts getting hot, we can call it a day. So anyways, we're going to go do a few more things and then we'll see you right back here in the morning. All right, guys. So we are back for the second day. We're going to try to get the building up. I said try. So uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, I, I have no help. I have half of a help. Stephanie just got back from the dentist, so she can't talk, and you know, she can help me. But I, sometimes I need her, 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 her voice too. No, I'm just aggravating. My wisdom. Wisdom, wisdom. Okay, I'm um, just aggravating. But <clears throat> okay, you gonna set it just back there though? Yeah. This is box number four. Number three. Box number one. Box number two.
Now we gotta find the screws and stuff. Here it comes with the handy dandy uh, instruction manual, patio well. Um, kind of tell you how to set everything up. So we're gonna get over here and get started. Okay. Yes, one, okay. This is gonna go up here. You got the two. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put each one of these screws in to connect all of them. And then once we get them all connected, we'll center it and then we can screw it onto the board or the wood. That's what happens when you get on sale bits, think you're getting a good price. Here's the deal, pay, pay the good money, that way you don't have to keep replacing them. Think this that thing. Go, Brandon. Know a little thing or two every now and then. Mm -hmm. Because the screws. She has to take off every time he has an accident. Do what? He has. She has to take off and leave. So she's gone for like an hour and a half every time he has an accident. All right, so like I say, in, in each one of these uh, kits, I mean, they got everything well labeled. Um, each piece has got its own little sticker. So we're looking for GR. So we know that there is uh, one GR in here. So, and it even shows you what it looks like. So let's go ahead and get it out of here. So looks like the GR is this right here. So now we got to take this. Got your DR there. That's another thing with these screws here. You, you, you can use these washers to actually help you position the screw. What I'm doing is putting a the screw there and I'll put the washer inside of it here. And then we can take it over here to the side And just rip up and you're good to go also guys the qr code if you have any issues at all putting this building up click on that qr code it'll take you to patio wells uh, youtube channel and they will show you step by step it's pretty awesome i've never had a product like that um, they're very friendly and um, we're very thankful we was able to work with these guys so hopefully you'll go over and check them out and uh, let us know what you think about it. Pretty as like little windows. Yeah. Let's see what it looks like.
So another cool step about this that I like that a lot, I've never ever seen this before. You can actually, if you don't understand it, you can actually scan this barcode and it actually sends you a video to walk you straight through it. That's pretty neat. Just finished the top on both sides. I still got to put uh, screw a couple in here at the end. Um, we're getting ready to start working on the door, but um, it's coming along pretty good. It's uh, it's not that hard. The, it started getting a little hotter this evening, but once you get up there, start working with that dark tin, it attracts the sun and start getting really hot. But other than that, it's man, this thing is. Pretty simple to, to put together. Um, all your all your screw holes, they are actually um, started for you. Um, everything's labeled. I mean, all, all you do, if you can follow a map, just putting one of these things together is not gonna be no issue at all because every single little piece is actually um, labeled. And I'll show you here and just set the book right here. And like I say is every little piece is labeled to what, what piece of metal to use, what screw to use, um, what when to use washers. And if you, for, for some reason, if you don't understand the instructions that, that they give you here, all you gotta do is scan that code right there and that will take you to a YouTube video and explain it and break it down and show you hands-on. This is the first time I've ever seen anything like this. We're, like I said, we're super excited. Uh, Steph has actually got one right here. It is a 10 by eight. And um, once we get this garden out of the way, we're most likely gonna take it and we're gonna set it up right here and leave a little centerpiece here so I can, if later on I wanna put a roof or something over all of it, I can have another storage space so, um, yeah, it's come along pretty good. We still got to get the door done, and uh, we'll try to show you a little bit of that. So stay tuned. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and stop for now. Um, it's about time to get something to eat. So what are you doing, Badger? We're going to go get something to eat, and uh, all we like now is just putting the, um, the latch on, and we'll be good to go. So we're getting there. Uh, all the hard work's done. We just got to come back up here and clean this. I'm going to go get something to eat first, and then we'll come back and clean it up. All right, guys, that is complete. It is all the way done. We've got it screwed down to our, our floor here. And uh, yeah, got enough room to walk around. Um, what we're going to do is end up getting the uh, black shelving and we're going to put them along the wall here. And this is where we're going to keep a lot of the tools and stuff. If um, so once we get up here and our house is built here and our animals are over here, most likely we'll probably turn this into a feed shed or something like that. I don't know, we're gonna play it by ear. But uh, for now, what we're gonna do is uh, we'll keep my tools and stuff in here, my saws and everything, they're all out here already. That way if I need to work on something, I can just come up here and get everything out and it's out of the wind or out of the, the, uh, the rain and stuff, the uh, table saw. I haven't had it in a shop since we've been here. I've been putting it underneath the uh, underneath the kept, uh, the camper tongue. So let's get this all and roll it in here. I was going intentions was to bring our our lawnmower and park it in here, but obviously our deck is too wide. We got a, a pretty big uh, lawnmower, so. And plus, we're going to leave this up here because Steph has got one of these buildings we're going to put together for her, for her stuff to store. So it's kind of like a he, he shed, she shed. Yeah, he said, she said. This is the he shed. All right, so on your little latches here, you just basically, if you want to leave them down like that, you can uh, just leave it under locked under there. But if you don't, you can bring it up here. like that it's all done 
Um, guys, like I say, this was really, really simple to put together. If you've seen the, the, the book, you can actually scan it and it'll walk you through the steps. So if uh, you're looking for a storage building, these right here is going to make a, a pretty good storage building. It's real sturdy. So yeah, I'm going to leave a link in the description box. Go check it out. And I hope you uh, enjoy the rest of the video. We're going to get back to our chores. While I was finishing up on the building yesterday, we got a really big surprise. Cowboy, are you needing some attention? Is that what it is? Are you needing some tension? Huh? Are you needing some tension? Are you needing us some tension? Huh? Where'd you go? Well, come here. Well, come here. Well, come here. Well, come here. Well, tell them hi. Say hi. Oh, cowboy. He's making his rounds this morning. Um, I had to get up and go to town this morning, so I didn't get to actually uh, sit out here and enjoy him. Um, so he always runs up the first time, first thing when I get here. Um, like I said, I just got back and um, the baby, we got the two uh, cinnamon babies out here running around. They're whining and which it reminded me, hey, we had a couple babies yesterday. So we're going to go take you and show you the new babies. All right, so we're making our way down here. And as you see, there's Mama G's baby. And there's Spot's little brown baby. And then there's her other two babies. Aren't they just so adorable? Look at them guys, they are beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, is it sitting there eating on them trees? Yup. What's wrong? Your mama's right there. Yeah. And there's Carly, Cinderella. They all just run right underneath your feet, but it's okay. So we're going to ease over here. Steph is the one that told me that there was two. I only seen one of them yesterday. There's one right there, and that is a little bitty girl. Look how little she is. That is so beautiful. And I still don't see the other one Steph was talking about. Oh, I see it now. And there's Mama too. Mama's over there by the little baby. I did not see that little bitty black and white one yesterday. So this is the first time I'm seeing it this morning. We had ball practice and stuff yesterday, so Steph and them came out and checked on them. What are you doing, Mama? You're okay. Just want to make sure you're nursing. So we come out here and uh, we keep a pretty good eye on them for the first few days just to make sure they're eating and stuff. So it is a little bitty boy. Yeah, there is a few little moon spots. You see, Mama's got some moon spots and I think that's actually the one we call moon spot. Um, so she does have a little bit of brown here, or he does. Got a little bit of brown like his daddy and white. Oh, it's on both sides. You see their little brown spot there. That's pretty neat. Blue eyes, pretty little guy. Well, look at him. And it, it, he's got a fat belly. So that means to tell me mama is doing a really good job. Um, what we will do probably here this evening or later on is uh, we'll come out here and put an ear tag in their ear so we know what baby belongs to what uh, mama. Um, we've got several uh, mamas that are going to be, you know, giving birth over the next couple months. Um, usually, which we got these from Marie at Random Oki Farms, but um, usually once they start having uh, kids, they all start having, but this particular goat I think she actually got this goat at a sale um, here a while back. So I don't know if they're actually in the same cycle as the other um, 
goats. So this is baby number two, and this is a little girl, and I love her colors. Um, all five, or, or all four feet are black and brown. Yeah, you're so precious. You're so precious. And these, uh, these baby goats are really, really small. Yeah, you really, really small. Yes, you are, but you're so adorable. Yes, you're so adorable. Yes. We're going to go ahead and put them together right there. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and leave those guys there. We're gonna go ahead and do a walk through and check on all the uh, goats and see if we got any more new babies. And um, we got a bunch of these old dead trees here. Uh, I think we're gonna end up coming through here and start cutting them out. But uh, I may actually get get uh, William's tractor and come in with that little scoop and go ahead and grab them and pull them up and just try to get a lot of this stuff cleared out. Obviously, we're going to leave the green trees. Yep. Yeah. That's brownies, baby. And uh, we'll probably stack them up over here like we already got stacked up. And if we ever get any rain, we're going to go ahead and um, burn it all. But Crybaby's starting to get a, a little bag on her too. So we're gonna probably need to start watching her pretty close. Um, this one here should be getting pretty close as well because um, that, well, we got them probably about seven months ago. So probably got still got just a little bit but they are looking good. I'm glad we went ahead and got some uh, hay and brought over here. I mean, they still got quite a bit of weeds and stuff back here, but. But we want to, uh, we want them to have all they want. You know, we do feed the grain in the evening time um, not much, you know, we feed uh, a five gallon bucket to each pen. That's just to keep them food motivated. So, um, how you doing Cinnamon? You doing all right? Come here. Well, there ain't no need running. There's no need to run Cinnamon. You're not getting no medicine today. But, um, yeah. So they still got quite a bit of weeds under here, like I was saying earlier. But we definitely need some rain. There's Spot. It's okay, baby. It's okay. And we still got this brush out here that we need to actually get all together and burn this and clean it up back here. So. It's getting there slowly, but surely. It's just right now, I'm, I'd be too afraid to actually um, do any burning.